much information to share with you and um, I apologize in advance. Sometimes I get really excited about some of these things. So if I get too excited and I'm going a little bit too fast, please let me know. Um, and there's a lot to share, so let's get started. So first, I'm just going to review what my department does and kind of what our goals are overall. Um, and then um, I want to talk about kind of what your ideal is, um, both for yourself and for your teams. I want to go through some of my favorite digital tools that are your toolbox for success. Um, and then I want to talk a little bit about some new things that we're working on as far as digital marketing and branding. And I also want to leave some time for any questions. Um, I will preface that with, I don't know everything, but I will do my best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so brand and digital marketing, what are we trying to accomplish? So the very first thing is we are trying to create a simple, positive, and rewarding customer experience. And when we say customer, we mean both the associates, you, and our, all of our customers. That includes our preferred customers and our retail customers. Um, obviously, as a company, we want to increase our sales, uh, the retention, and our enrollments. And we want to partner with you to make that happen. We also want to make sure that we're making data-driven decisions. This is something overall as a company that we are working toward um, every single day. We are analyzing data and making decisions based on that data to make improvements to our experiences. And the fourth thing is also very important for our department and very important to me personally. We want to align multiple departments internally to make sure we're making the right decisions. So we work with the sales teams other marketing groups, including the product marketing team, communications, design, and uh, IT. So we bring all of those groups together to make sure we're making the right decisions. All right, so what is your ideal? So this is a really important question, and this is something to think about today, but also think about when you go back to your market. It's all about what you do daily, weekly, and monthly for yourself, but also for your team members. It, depending on where you're at in your business, what you want to be doing on a daily or weekly basis is going to be different than what you want someone else on your team to be doing. And that's going to guide your decisions on what you're going to be teaching that person. Um, so an entry level person is not going to be giving you know, presentations every single week, for example. They're going to be learning the basics. Um, whereas if you're a higher level associate, your daily or weekly tasks are going to look a bit different. You're going to be managing a team and looking at things a little bit different. So what do you want your ideal day to look like? And what do you want an entry-level person on your team, what do you want them to be focused on? So this is going to inform your strategy moving forward. So it's just something to think about. Um, those things are going to be inherently different. Um, and uh, actually, myself and Andrea are going to be talking more about that in our workshop tomorrow morning, if you're interested. All right, so as you're thinking about your ideal, think about that in terms of how you're going to utilize some of these tools that we're going to go through and how some of your team members would utilize these tools. Sorry, I just checked if I forgot my class. <laughs> <laughs> this one right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? I need more social friends. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, thank you. All right, so one of my favorite tools that we have available for all of our associates is the order history report. 
So this report is really valuable. It's in Team Manager, and you can search by a lot of different things to create a list of associates, preferred customers, or even retail people um, within your downline. And if you have Business Accelerator Suite, you can email directly from the report to a particular group of people and follow up with those people. Um, we are also working at making sure that the export to Excel is available for all associates. Uh, that's something that we're, the IT team is working on right now, um, and we're hoping that that will be available in the next few weeks. So this is a really great report that you can use to follow up with customers that you already have. And you can follow up with them using the share links and the share list features. For example, if someone has purchased Cell Essentials and Biomega from you, you can check that in the order history report. You can create a share list that has those products and you can contact them through the order history report and say, hey, thank you for buying these products. If you want to reorder, here's a list of those products and you can just click and buy. And that's a really easy way to ensure that your customer can reorder those products directly from you at any time. You can also create what we call win back campaigns. So if someone has bought from you, but they haven't bought anything in maybe a month or two, you can follow up with those people using this report. So it's, it's a way to create a strategy for retention. Another great tool is our associate usana.com websites. We're gonna be talking about this a lot tomorrow night as well. Uh, they are easy to use starting on day one for your new team members, um, and they are very easy to set up. So I was just looking at our Q2 uh, stats. So the average order size from someone going and shopping through an associate website was 224 US dollars. So this is someone just purchasing products on their own just through a link from your personal usada.com website. So they don't need to be walked through and you know talked through a lot of those things. They are just clicking on the link and buying the products themselves through your website. So it's a really great way to get people started on day one sharing usana on your team. And I mentioned this before, but I love our share links and our share lists. Again, this is a feature that's available for everyone on day one. They're easily managed from the, from the website, and you can also do this through the browser on your phone as well. And again, from Q2, the average order size from share links or share lists was 156 US dollars. So you can create a custom list, like in this example, or a share link is on every single product detail page. So if someone's just interested in the Cell Essentials or the Cell Aviv Toner, which is one of my personal favorite products, you can just send that particular product through one link and send it to through text message, email, um, any kind, of, like you can blast it out on Facebook or Instagram if you want, um, and anyone can purchase those products and you get the credit. So this is just one example of how you can use the share links on social media. So I'll just talk through this, um, through this example. So if you're not sure how to share content that you've created, you can use content that has been created by the USANA Inc. or the USANA Athletes account. So in this example, this is an influencer that was showing a product. So this is all completely on my phone. I'm going into the hub and I'm going to find the product that was shared on the USANA Inc. website. 
So I'm looking at the product. It was a digestive product. I find the product and on the page, this is really nice to have the big screen. <laughs> so I find the product um, and I just click the link button right there and it copies the link to my clipboard. And then I can take this and um, I add the link to my profile. So it was messing up a little bit when I was recording this video, but it made it. <laughs> it made it there eventually. All right, so I'm adding the link, um, the share link that I made. It's a special link just to my website. I add it to my bio. So then I go back to USANA Inc's page. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna share that post on my story. So I didn't have to create new content. I'm just resharing USANA Inc's contact, content. But I'm adding my own message. And then I'm directing my followers to see the link in my bio if they're interested in this product. So that way, I don't have to create the content myself, but I'm leveraging the content that USANA has posted and how great this picture is. And then I'm sharing this to my story. So all of my followers are seeing this content. And if you're following USANA Inc. and USANA athletes, they're posting content all the time that is really great for you to share and leverage on your accounts. And, and that, by the way, that technique is really great for new team members that you have that aren't ready to share their own content yet or maybe aren't comfortable sharing their own product testimonials yet but you can leverage what we have. So there are a few other tools that we have that are really great. Um, we have the Customer Connect app. So this is just another shareable platform. A lot of our associates in the United States like this platform because it's especially easy to share with contacts that you have uh, via text message. Um, and so, this has similar sharing functionality from our browsing um, uh, shopping experience. Um, you can create share links and also share full category pages. Um, I love sharing categories because you don't have to know exactly what a customer needs. You can share a whole category. For example, the energy category or the um, you know, mother-child line or something like that. Um, and again, it's all link-based sharing. So it's very simple and easy to, sh to share those links. Um, and then finally, the Hub app. So one of the great things about the Hub app is that it gives you an overview of your business um, at a glance. Um, and it also allows you easy access to your business placement settings, which are key if you're using the digital sales tools to share your business. Because wherever your uh, business placement settings are is where that those sales will flow. So you want to monitor your volume report and then change your business placement settings accordingly to make sure your your next sale is being placed appropriately to make sure you're maximizing your income. Um, and you can also access some other really great reporting features in the Hub app. So I would recommend that to make sure that you're maximizing your income potential. All right. So now that we've gone through an overview of that, I do want to give you guys a glimpse at what we have yeah. moving forward. Yes. That's like the fun stuff, right? <laughs> I mean, I really, I get really excited about the tools we have, but we have some really great stuff that we've been working on for you. 
So we have an improved checkout experience that we have been working very hard on with the IT group. And these are the key features. There's an updated structure of the overall page, an easy one-click checkout for returning customers, an improved promo code functionality, improved order confirmation, and an easy one-step PC account creation, which I think is the best feature, personally. I think you guys will agree. All right, so this is what you're used to, and this is what the new checkout will look like. It looks a lot better, right? Yes. Cleaner. All right, so first of all, the updated structure. You'll see all of the steps are outlined, very scannable. You'll be able to easily see which step you're on, um, and you'll see how many steps you have left. So the one-click checkout is for returning customers. We will save all of your information because you'll be in a logged in state. So if you are returning, you want to buy, and you want to click checkout, it's just one click and you're done and you're confirmed. Um, with launching this in the United States, with when we did the beta test with existing customers, this process took about 30 seconds. Out, so it usually takes like three minutes. So that was with existing customers. Saves a lot of time. The improved promo code functionality that is shown here, it is a lot easier to see that your promo code was accepted and apply to your order. The improved order confirmation page um, ensures that you know that your order was placed and that it's in the works. And the other thing that gets me really excited is that your new customer can sign up for text messages right here about their orders, right where they want it. All right, so this is my favorite part. So with our digital sales tools, we're trying to make it easier for people to become preferred customers. On your part, you're sharing our digital sales tools, the, their personal usana.com website, or the share links or the share lists. It's just a link you're putting it in your social media bios or you're sending it via text message um, or, or social media or email. Um, and you don't want to have to prompt people, this is how you become a preferred customer or let me walk you through it or anything like that. We want to give the customer a way to upgrade themselves to that in a simple way. They can do that right here. We give them a prompt, they can sign up and save. All they have to do is enter in checkout. All they have to do is to create a password and that's it. They're your preferred customer, they save the 10% and it's done. Their information appears in your order history report you can follow up with them, thank them for their order, reiterate what they bought, follow up however you'd like. It's easy for them and it's easy for you. We also kind of reiterate that their account was created and the savings that they received from becoming a preferred customer with, with you and with us. So this has already launched in the United States, and here are some metrics. So this is, I want this in my office. <laughs> um, 
So this is the old checkout. Um, and I want to point out a few things. So this is the time that it took people to go through um, checkout, two minutes, 41 seconds. And this is how long it's taking now, one minute and 24 seconds overall. That's a new, new customers and existing customers. So we're saving them over a minute on average. Um, and the conversion rate has gone from 59% to 63%, and we expect that to go higher as they get used to this new checkout. So a, con a higher conversion rate, that's just more sales, simply because we updated this new experience for our customers, made it easier for people to go through checkout. So that's good for both of us. All right, so I also want to talk to you guys about a new shopping app that we're working on. So this is also really exciting. So I'm gonna talk about how we are working on the beginnings of this, focusing on auto order specifically. Some of the pain points that we've discovered I want to show you the progress that we're working on and go over the next steps. So why are we focusing on auto order? So we surveyed all of our markets globally uh, and auto order was the number one thing that customers, associates, and market leads um, thought was most important. Uh, 74% of all of our USANA customers use mobile devices, so that hence the reason to use an app. Um, and 65% of all USANA orders are auto orders, which was pretty surprising. And we use Qualtrics on our website. If you've seen that little feedback button on our website, that's Qualtrics. And these are the top pain points that we, we see on that. And they're all auto order. So we knew that this was something that we wanted to tackle. This just shows some of the information that we received from that Qualtrics. Um, red is bad. <laughs> so we knew that this is something that we wanted to focus on um, up here. Again, red is not good. And all of those things, most of those have to do with auto order placements. And again, these are, this is, these are all things unable, order, can't, automatic. It's not good. So, we wanted to make auto orders easier. So, we want to offer a way to make it easier and quicker to manage the sauna product subscription. So our goals make it simple to set up an auto order for the first time. We want to make it more flexible and put the customer in control of their auto order. And this is my favorite, <laughs> notifications. And notifications will help people keep themselves consistent with their new health routines. Uh, Dr. Medella was just talking about, I heard him talking about taking supplements morning and night. People are not used to that. It can be difficult for people. So notifications can keep people consistent so that they reorder with all of us. So that's something that's really important for us. So I want to show you guys some of the screenshots from the new app we're building. So this is what setting up your auto order is going to look like. So if you have downloaded the app and you don't have auto order yet, you'll have a screen like this. It'll prompt you to create an auto order. It'll give you some of the benefits of having an auto order. And then you'll have a screen like this. 
you'll be able to search for products across the top. You'll be able to look through the categories of products. Um, and then you'll be able to add products to a list. <laughs> <laughs>
So that's that's what we're looking at. All right, one more thing. Updated enrollment. So enrollment, we are in the research phase. We know enrollment has some pain points, and we have already got some research back from some associates on some of their main pain points. We are also doing some focus groups at convention um, throughout the week here. Um, we are going to be following up with some associate surveys as well and some interviews. We're also going to be researching just current design best practices, uh, user interface and user experience design um, in the industry to make sure that we're doing the most up-to-date enrollment designs possible, not just within our industry, but outside of our industry. We have some goals. We want to make enrollment quick, simple, and intuitive. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I mentioned earlier data-driven decisions. We learned something about our enrollment process. It takes, on average, about 30 minutes to go through enrollment. Yes, yes. <laughs> Painful, right? And yeah. Yeah, we learned that it's about 8% conversion rate. That's not good. We can improve on that. I believe in us. So we want to make it better, and I think we can. Um, we, speaking of the drop-off, we want to make sure that if, for whatever reason, someone does drop out of enrollment, that we can follow up with them. We can send them an email and say, hey, you haven't finished enrollment, jump back in when you're ready. Um, and we can do that if we collect the right information up front. We can bring them back into the experience. We want to make it easier for that new associate to purchase product or set up their auto order within the experience. And most importantly, we want them to leave feeling excited about enrolling. Um, and if it's 30 minutes, I don't know. That would be a little daunting <laughs> thing for anyone. So we're very excited about the new enrollment that we're working on. We feel like it's going to help a lot um, in terms of making a better experience for a brand new associate feeling good about making the decision to join your team. Um, and we're very excited about all the new things that we have planned for you. All right, that's my whole presentation. So I am So, okay. yeah. what kind of timetable do you have actually in mind for the release of the, the apps and the project that you, you mentioned? Yeah, great question. So, for the app, for the auto order app, the auto order management portion, we are looking at first quarter next year. Okay. So, it's probably not going to be January. <laughs> January is always hard for people because. But I would say we're looking at comfortably first quarter. Um, enrollment is probably going to be more mid-year next year to late next year. It's a very large project. Um, and checkout is going to be rolling out to the markets throughout the rest of this year and into next year. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I've not been able to log in to the Customer Connect app or the Hub on my phone because we're all here now. Oh, no. I've tried, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm you know, deleting it and re-adding it as content support to do time. 
Will I be able to go to the tech stand at the crossroads and get it sorted? Because it's very, it's very important. So, you know, I know I need to get it off. Yeah, I would. I hope that customer service or the customer experience team would be able to help you with that. Yeah. Uh, today, when when we sent a, a, a link to to a friend and to have information on a special product, and uh, when we 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 need to uh, put another link to the askthescientists.com uh, website, uh, is it possible from uh, the product list to put a link directly if someone wants? more information uh, to the asthascientist.com uh, website. Sorry yeah. for my English. <laughs> oh, no, no, you're totally fine. Um, so we do have some legal reasons why the information on Ask the Scientist has to be separated from our site, because it goes more into depth on our products. Um, so I'm not sure we'd be able to link those. We have been trying to integrate that a little bit more, mm -hmm. but I do know there's some legal restrictions there. Um, so I'm not sure we'd be able to, to connect them exactly, but we are working on trying to bridge that gap a little bit more to make it easier. Thank you. When you said that the, the new app will be ready by first quarter, will it, will it also be ready in other languages or just in English? Yeah, yeah, we're making that a global. Okay. Yes. Yep. Yeah, and uh, we're integrating, so it would include, you know, your payment options, like for your market and that kind of thing. So when people sign up, they can choose what language they want to yeah, interact with the app. So the app will, it will require a login. Okay. So you have to be part of USANA in order to log into it. So with that information, we'll know who you are, what market you're in, and what language you're selecting. Thank you. Yeah. Other questions? All right, well, let's get it. <laughs> Thank you very much.